Hey, Internet, Lambert here, reporting from PH Archivist Garage, where he's working on the Death Star. Hi, guys and gals, this is Rob, PH Archivist from the RPF, and this is my Death Star replica. What's it made out of? This, well, this model, it's built uh, almost exactly the way the original was. Uh, the original model is a three foot diameter clear acrylic sphere, actually two hemispheres, uh, and that's exactly what this is. Uh, underneath all this is just clear plastic uh, built together on an internal framework. The original is steel. This is a combination of steel and wood. Uh, I don't weld steel in my garage. Uh, but again, that's what it is. You've got two clear uh, plastic domes lashed together on the internal framework, uh, and then it's all painted over the top of that. Where's the original? It's actually on public display at the Seattle Science Fiction Museum. What research did you put into this project? That was one of the most fun parts of the project. I uh, did a pretty darn good job of sourcing any published photograph of the original model that there is. Uh, and I've actually done or made three trips up to Seattle to take photographs of the original. Why do you have a computer in your garage? Because printing out thousands of photographs of the original model got a little old. Uh, so now I actually went out and bought a brand new computer so I could uh, actually look at the reference photographs right next to the model. How'd you get the line so straight? I had to make my own tool. How'd you do the dish? It was, so I've got one dish here with a second one on the inside and then a disc right in here and then each one of these are little tiny strips of plastic. How did you do these notches? I actually had to cut plastic arcs or plastic strips and attach them to the actual edge of the acrylic dome. So why'd you make it? Well, as a 10-year-old kid when the movie came out, this is my favorite model. I just I love the simplicity of it. I love the role in the film. Also, I like the fact that uh, because the original model today is in pretty sad shape, this uh, is really what I call a restoration by proxy. Uh, it'd be a shame to actually modify the original today. We need to keep it in its current state. This is the best way to actually replicate the way the original looked when it was new. So how many little light specks are in that thing? Well, so far I've finished most of the lower dome, and I've probably got about 8,000. Wow, 8,000. Have you counted them then? Every last one of them. Show me how you do the lights. It's a tedious process. Just a matter of finding the spot. Give me a few twists. Boom. Oh, is it ever going to be on display? No, it's not. It's, it's really not mobile. So it will remain here in the garage. It will never be on public display. Uh, so it will grace my garage. No parade floats? No. Make me one. I wish. Uh, e people have asked, uh, and no, this is a one-off project. It's the only one I've got it in me to make, and there are various reasons why I would never make another one. Sorry. How'd you paint that? Starting out, since it's uh, clear acrylic, which doesn't take paint very well, I had to sand everything down to frost it so uh, it would actually take the paint. Uh, hit it with an automotive primer uh, out of a rattle can. This is the light gray base coat. These are about $10 a pop. Um, and I've gone through, I think, about 20 of these. And then the darker, what we call cityscapes, is actually a paint flick on with a toothbrush. Are you the only person to ever do this? There is one other guy on the RPF that gave a start to it. Hi, Christian. But uh, never got beyond the painting phase. And in fact, I think his is still entirely clear. The baby Death Star has kind of a dent in its soft spot. Yeah, I uh, had uh, Matt Munson over one afternoon and I was showing off all the lights on the inside and left it plugged in and it melted. Thanks, Matt. Have you ever left the lights on in the big one? Yes, I have. Once I left them on for 24 hours and the model does get noticeably warm. Uh, but thank goodness it did not melt the dish. Any other close calls? Yeah, <laughs> once my 11-year-old in all his worldly brilliance this thing as hard as he could at me while I was working on the Death Star. Missed the dish by about six inches. Charming. I touched it. 